we're going to take a look at creating Google Sheets in this tutorial. And if you're familiar with using Microsoft Excel, Google Sheets is similar to that. Um, and you'll, you'll see as we're going through here, I am already in my drive, which is drive.google.com. And I've, you can see my folder structure that I have here. This is how I stay organized. I'm going to double click on the folder beginning of the year items. And the reason why I'm choosing that one is just because I um, have been using it to store some very basic items. Um, and for this one, I am going to do a roster. Okay, so here I am appear at the Chrome trail you can see this is my drive I'm in the folder beginning of year items and then here are my subfolders and then a slides presentation that I already have in here I told you that I wouldn't wanted to create a Google Sheets so I'm gonna go over here to new and I'm going to click on Google Sheets so you can see this is a spreadsheet and it has some pretty basic uh, ribbons up here for us to use for tools. I'm going to click where it says Untitled Spreadsheet and I'm going to change this to Roster and I'm going to tell it OK. So for my roster um, I'm just going to type in all of my students that I'm going to have this year. So first, last, and I'm going to say their email. OK. so. First student that I have is Bobby Smith, and I am going between these cells by clicking the tab button. And Bobby's email is going to be bsmith at student.org. Okay, and then I'm going to continue going on with this. I'm going to just put in a couple of other students very quickly. Okay, so there's my students, and you can see down here this is sheet one. Let's say that I wanted to double click on this one and call it period one. If I am a secondary teacher and I have multiple classes, I could do that. And then I can go over here to where this um, plus sign is where it says add sheet. And I can actually, let me do something different. I'm going to call this one, double click, call it period two. And now I'm going to go back into period one and I'm going to highlight these three cells, copy them. And I, I did the shortcut copy, which was uh, command C on my Mac. It could be control C if you're using a Windows, but you can also right click on that and then copy it. So I'm going to go over here to period two and this time I will right click and I'm going to be in cell A1, hit paste, and it's going to put those in the respective cells A1, B1, and C1. And then I can just type in the students from period two. So I'll put in a couple of kids here very quickly. Okay, so that is your basic structure for creating multiple sheets here. I can do things with my data. Um, if Let's say if I did not have student names in here or text, if I had numbers, if you're familiar with Excel where you can change so that the uh, numbers and data is showing as currency, a percent, I can change my decimal places and so on. That can take place in here as well. And if I wanted to change, like let's say this here, would really be helpful to me if it was bold. I can do that and I'll even make it just a little bit easier to read there. Okay, so that's your most very basic thing that you can do in uh, Google Sheets. And if I wanted to put in some numbers here, so let me just add in another sheet here. I'm going to double click and call this one period 
three. Okay, this time instead of putting in students' names, I'm going to put in some test scores. All right, so I'm just going to fill in some numbers. Okay, now in this bottom one, I can put a function in there so I can average those, okay? So it could be equals AVG. I'm going to go ahead and choose average. And now it's telling me I have to choose something. So I'm going to get rid of my helper here. I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to, just like I would in Excel, highlight all of those. Now I have to put my parentheses in hit return, and so now I have my average is 58, and that shows right up here. Okay, so we can do some of your basic um, functions, and then also let's say that I wanted to change that cell so that way I can fill in the color and it stands out to me a little bit better. I just go over here and fill my color just like that. That's it.